Hi, my name is Erin Soderberg-Downing, and I am the author of the chapter book series, Puppy Pirates. Today I'm going to read you the first chapter of Puppy Pirates, Lost at Sea. Chapter 1, The Legend of the Bermuda Triangle. Gather round, pups, for I have a tale to tell. Old Salt wrapped his peg leg on the wooden deck of the salty bone. A group of puppy pirates trotted over. The Bernese Mountain Dog was the oldest member of the puppy pirate crew, and he didn't speak often. When he did, everyone listened. Old Salt cleared his throat. A whoosh of sea air ruffled his fur. Long, long ago, in a not-so-distant sea, there was a ship filled with sailors much like you and me. Is this a poem? whined Captain Redbeard. I don't like poems. It's not a poem, Old Salt said. It's not even a made-up tale. The story I'm about to tell is true. Get on with it, then, grumbled Redbeard. The wiry terrier captain was not very patient. He didn't like to wait for much of anything. As I was saying, Old Salt stopped to cough. He coughed and coughed, his whole body shaking. Finally, he opened his mouth wide and coughed out a soggy hairball. He sighed happily and then continued his tale. Long, long ago, there was a ship sailing through these very waters. It was a mighty ship carrying strong, hard-working sailors. This ship was captained by a tough old bulldog, Dread Pirate Wrinkles. Is this a story about when you were a pup? asked Wally, a fluffy golden retriever puppy. All the pups on board the Salty Bone longed to know more about Old Salt's past. Old Salt almost never answered this kind of question. He didn't this time either. Dread Pirate Wrinkle's ship carried these sailors through strange, strange waters, he told them, into the Bermuda Triangle. Some call it the Bermuda Triangle. Some call it the Triangle, for short. You young pups ever heard of it? Wally shook his head. Many of his mates shook their heads, too. Recess the Labrador Retriever, Frosty the Husky, the Pug Twins, and the human boy Henry, Wally's best mate, all looked blankly at Old Salt. Only Millie and Stink, who had spent years living on an old ghost ship, howled, Yes! The triangle! That's easy! barked Redbeard. A triangle is a thing with four sides. Like a map. Wally knew a triangle had three sides, and most of their maps were shaped like a rectangle. But he didn't want to correct their captain. No one did. Redbeard didn't like to hear when he was wrong. Sir, said Curly, the fluffy white mini poodle who ser served as Redbeard's first mate, I think Old Salt is talking about the other kind of triangle, the mysterious part of the sea where strange things happen. But those are just old legends. Are they? asked Old Salt, with a far-off look on his face. Well, Dread Pirate Wrinkles steered that ship into the triangle and disappeared. The sails were full, the sea was calm, everything was going well, until a deep fog blew in from out of nowhere, and poof, just like that, the ship was gone. This triangle, said Spike, a nervous bulldog, is it near here? Aye, wolfed Old Salt. We are sailing toward that part of the sea now. What else happens in the Bermuda Triangle, asked Wally. Millie woofed. Pops tell tales of a spooky fog, ripped sails, broken compasses, weird weather, disappearing supplies, that kind of thing, Stink added. Don't worry, pups, Curly told the crew. We're sailing around the famous triangle, not through it. That was the captain's idea, she sniffed. But if you ask me, all these silly stories are nonsense. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure of that, Old Salt said gruffly. Nonsense, Curly said again. Spike shivered. He squeezed in between Henry and Wally. Best not to risk it, he said quietly. But how does a ship know if it's in or out of the triangle? There's no land anywhere near here to use as map points, Frosty said. Frosty was new to the Salty Bone crew. He grew up at the North Pole, where there were always plenty of snow-covered mountains and rivers to use as guides. So isn't it just a guess? There is a bit of guesswork, yes, answered Curly. 
but we have good maps and of course we use nautical map navigation to chart our course. Not a hoosicle navigation, Captain Redbeard barked. What kind of hoodly tootly nonsense are you talking about? I'm talking about how we use a compass and maps to figure out our ship's position in the sea, Curly said. And as I'm sure you already know, Captain, said Einstein, nautical is a fancy word for the sea. Frosty, we use maps, compasses, and islands we've sailed past to track our position from the steering cabin, Curly explained patiently. We also use the location of the stars at night. All of those tools help us figure out where we are in relation to the triangle. Aye, Old Salt said, tapping his peg leg on the deck, but compasses don't always work. They are known to go wonky in the triangle. And as I always say, if you can't figure out which direction you're pointed in, you can't figure out how to get where you need to be. Old Salt was usually the one who calmed all the other pups down. But today there was a look on Old Salt's face that Wally had never seen before. It was a little bit sad, a little bit worried, and maybe even a little bit scared? No, Wally thought quickly. That couldn't be right. Nothing scared Old Salt. Nothing. Curly barked sharply. Speaking of where you need to be, Wally knew what that meant. Their story break was over. It was time for afternoon chores. The crew scattered. Steak Eye made his way down to the kitchen to prepare his famous stew. Henry began to scrub the decks. Wally had finished his chores that morning, and he wanted to know more about the triangle. He could tell some of the other pups felt the same way. So what happened to Dread Pirate Wrinkle's ship, Wally asked. Did anyone ever find it? Old Salt stared out over the deck rail and said softly, Maybe it's still in the triangle to this day. Lost, sailing around in circles. You don't really think that's true, do you? Recess asked nervously. Have you ever been inside the triangle, Old Salt? asked Wally. Did you see the ship disappear, Frosty wondered. Old Salt turned and looked at each of the young pups in turn. All I will say is this. But before he could finish his thought, the ship lurched. The boat tilted to one side. The sails tipped down toward the waves. The crew skidded across the deck, yapping and howling. It's the sea slug, wailed Spike. We're all doomed.